Okay, everybody that jizz their pants, the OG shower scene is up. The, it's in the description. Everyone else that has patience. Uh, the sun feels so good. Look at all these chemtrails. But look at the way they connect. You see that? They connect to each other. I really miss my voice. I'm really gonna appreciate my voice after this. Seriously, I'm, uh, last night was really bad. I developed a cough. Oh, well, let me show myself. Last night was so bad, I developed a cough. And um, it was so cold, too cold last night. So I'm very um, feeling it today, dang. Today's, what, day seven or something? These are the same people that got me sick. I checked my hot honey video was not even two months ago. We keep giving it back to each other or something. The first time the pastor's wife was really bad with pneumonia, her cough sounded so bad. And then this time, which was like six weeks later, it was the nine-year-old in my video. Did you hear her in my video? She was breathing heavy when I went back and watched it because I didn't catch her in the editing because it was so loud in the house with everybody, you know? They hit me up yesterday and they were like, Olivia, your 18 year old babysitter, she's in the hospital for gallstones and they're like, what's all natural? And um, Barbara O'Neill has a video on how castor oil, that's why I chose castor oil. <laughs> Although the castor oil on my Etsy is topical really because you have to look for food grade castor oil, I think, yeah, to ingest it. I need to find it. All right, I love you guys. Hold on, Turkey. Hello. I wanted to shave. I had to get a hotel last night because the night before was so cold that I think it made me worse because my throat, my voice was so bad yesterday. I was a little bit scared and I never get scared, but um, I realized how much I love my voice, I miss my voice, and I was scared that it would never come back. You know what I mean? But it's gonna come back. This has happened to me multiple times. I remember my throat was always sensitive growing up. I would always get sore throats. And so I looked it up. Remember I told you when I was gonna go to the bay, Hot Honey, that video? I looked it up and it was not even two months ago. So Labor Day was the first time I went to my dad's. When he gave his notice, I was staying with him. Remember, I was sitting on his couch for a year and a half, helping him. I was trying to help him reverse his diabetes, but he just got off the metformin, which is a miracle, and I'm happy with that. But um, I think he is attached to being diabetic for three decades. So, God, I don't wanna say something to upset anybody but it seems like he's attached to playing victim of, like he'll say, it's not fun being diabetic. He'll use it as an excuse because it's reversible. I try to help you. So anyways, when he gave his notice, middle of May, right after my birthday, my birthday is May 3rd, and our last day was June 15th, I, um, he's been staying with the pastor right? Renting a room, but basically paying half the mortgage because another pastor rented that house to the pastor at a very good price. So anyways, the first time I went to go see my dad, because it was so bad, my sister had come to stay with my dad too. She had a three or four bedroom house she was renting um, in Palm Springs, ironically. So <laughs> thank God I got to know that area a little bit it's beautiful. My sister was living there, but um, the first time I went to go see my dad was Labor Day, because I remember I ended up staying. They were like, it's Labor Day weekend, we're all off state. So what was that, September 1st or something? All of September, half of October, because I got sick like a week ago, right? Today's Halloween. So in six weeks, they have kept the sickness, which I believe is COVID, 
I believe this is COVID when they gave me the first time, which was way worse last time. I was just like, couldn't even move, couldn't even walk quickly. This time, at least I went hiking, but I think I made it worse by going hiking because yesterday I couldn't even hike. I was like, <laughs> but um, yeah, the first time I went to go see my dad, I got sick. And then I was supposed to go back and cook for them and I didn't. So the second time I went back, they weren't as nice to me. I was like, yo, it was like night and day. And then an incident happened with a snake. There was a snake in the house. I handled it very well. They handled it extremely poorly, complete opposite. I handled it like a, they were, they were calling me Crocodile Dundee. <laughs> and they handled it like, yo, y'all know God or not, you know? I trust God so much that even if something goes wrong, I know it happens for, it happens for a reason. Like, maybe I'm not supposed to be somewhere. Whatever happens is not going to be that bad, you know? But it's going to be communicating with me, like, maybe I'm not supposed to be there or whatever. So then the only reason I went this last time was because my dad was preaching at pastor's church for the first time. So I wanted to support my dad. And the little nine-year-old girl, I told you guys in the video, um, divine intervention, when I asked her to show my outfit, you could see how heavy she's breathing, but if you would have heard her cough, which was what I sounded like last night, because I developed a cough yesterday. Last night, I sounded like her. So I was like, no, nah, I better not have pneumonia. So um, basically, I can't go there anymore <laughs> because what are the odds? I've gotten sick every time I've gone there. In the last six, seven weeks, I've gotten COVID twice. Nah, cause that's it. <laughs> so anyways, um, today I am going to focus on uploading the OG shower scene on Patreon because, so basically when you watch this, it's already going to be up because I'm not going to post this video until this is what happened, but Patreon never told me. All of a sudden, randomly, Patreon is telling me that I don't have enough storage. They only give you 500 MB, which is nothing. That one video I put on Patreon, it's like a minute long, already took 80% of my storage, and the OG shower scene is like six minutes long. So I have to buy storage which I tried to do and it wasn't working. And I was like, are you kidding me right now? So I'm going to buy the storage. It's like uh, the pro, which is the minimum, is 180 a year. And you have to pay that up front. So um, once I do that, upload the video, I will post this so you can know it's up. And um, yeah, I just... I always say this when I get sick, I appreciate being, it's like, it feels so good to be healthy. As soon as I, when I'm by myself, I'm very healing and rejuvenating and self-love and I'm good. But the minute I allow anybody, it doesn't matter y'all, because I pay attention to everything. The minute I allow anybody into my space, I get infected. It's crazy. So gotta keep being solo, dolo, lone wolf, sigma. Sigma female out here. It's crazy. And like I told you, my greatest accomplishment in life is gonna be keeping my heart open. So I'm keeping my heart open. I'm, al I'm still allowing, you know, God to send people, but like I'm not trying to get tight with nobody because everybody has baggage, everybody has secrets, everybody, I'm good. <laughs> There's enough secrets on my mom and dad's side of you know, me trying to break the generational curses. They divorced when I was eight or nine kept me in the dark about all of the, like, you know, which is great because I wasn't ready to deal with it until the pandemic. Some of the truth came out, not all of it. I'm so sensitive to energy. I don't want to work with anyone. I've already made it very clear. I don't want to see anybody in person. I don't want to work with anybody because I'm so sensitive to energy. I want to figure out how to do this online where I can make money. And YouTube effed me. I can't monetize for another month and a half. My hands are tied because I got copyright striked for showing my butt or whatever. I don't know, you know? I don't know <laughs> if the algorithm, like... Five hundred and fifty thousand views. 
even if 10%, 50,000 of those people reported me because they have opinions. Opinions are like belly buttons and buttholes. Everybody has one. So they're like, report, report. How dare she show that much skin on YouTube? This is YouTube. Um, it's, when I upload, I have to say if this is for kids or not. So you don't know how YouTube works? Too bad for you. But the algorithm sees all these people reporting me because the thing that they say that I'm being reported on, they'll say, the YouTube will tell me, this is what you got you the strike, the community strike, not the copyright strike. And I'm like, that doesn't make sense. And then I appeal it and then they're like, sorry. And I'm like, what? Okay, so that's fine. Hmm, I'm gonna figure out, I mean, at least on Patreon I could be like, myself, right? I'm not gonna be censored. Yes, my reach is less, blah, 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 whatever, but that's fine. <laughs> at this point, it's fine. I'm just gonna focus on doing YouTube, Patreon, including TikTok. And then this is gonna be my world. Anybody that wants to part, be part of my team is, you know, uh, when the time is right, I will, uh, if I can, add people to my team because I want a team so strong you don't know who the boss is. Um, and then, you know, I'm going to focus on my creativity because, oh, the sun's out. I'm going to focus on my creativity because no matter what I do, I'm going to be the villain in everyone's story because I won't let them play in my energy. <laughs> I cut him. I cut him. Like ruthless. You don't get to play in my energy. See, what people don't understand is if you play with me, you're just playing yourself. And then you get these people get so mad, they think that I'm doing like um magic on them or whatever. No, I'm returning it back to sender times termination. I used to send it back to sender at the beginning of the year when I was getting attacked so hard. I was like, yo, it was coming from all over because I exposed so much truth, specifically about my dad's side. My mom's side, oh, they're in for a rude awakening because <laughs> I haven't exposed them yet. I, I tried to, and my mom shut me down. But um, because it's her brother's son that molested me when I was eight. All the other sexual abuse was, you know, stemmed from my dad's side. Um, that I exposed. So, I was sending it back to Sender Times Devastation, and now, just recently, I've been sending it back to Sender Times Termination. Thank you for fulfilling your contract. Game over. Oh, you want to play with me? Come play with me. You want to play with the big boys? Come play with the big boys. I I ain't got nothing against. I let anybody that wants to play with the big boys come play with the big boys. Come play with the big boys. Just because I don't look like a big boy, you don't know what I look like spiritually. You want to play with the big boys? You want to play in my energy? You want to come up off my gifts? You want to steal from me? Try. They've been trying for 44 years. I just learned not to let people take, take, take from me. I'll give charity when I feel like it. Anyways, I'll have to check out. Um, thank God some money came into my account so I could get this hotel. Otherwise, I wouldn't feel better like I do right now. This morning, I got so upset because people are stupid. And I have to remember not to get angry because it lowers your immune system. I, I was feeling so good and then I started to feel bad again. So I need to be careful. I need to stay away from people because um, they're mo most of them are miserable bastards that just want to project. Um, and as someone commented on one of my videos that like my uh, body of a goddess face from hell, something like that. And it's so funny. Like I'm going through it. You're so evil. You're so evil, bro. But it's okay. Because I know how to like this, what, what is my, I, I see the difference. 
the last six months that I've been homeless, I see the difference in my face. Of course I'm homeless, hello, you know? Before six months, I looked like everybody would tell me you look 19, 20. Now people are telling me, oh, I thought you were in your early 30s. And I was, just the last like few weeks, people have been saying that to me. You look like you're in your late 30s. And I'm like, whoa, no one's ever said that to me before. Everyone would always tell me, you look like you're in high school, 18, 19, 20. So, yeah, being on the streets, of course, I'm fighting for my life out here. <laughs> and everybody just wants to bang me. <laughs> Isn't that y'all? Thank God that money came in and I was able to get a hotel, but I wasn't able to like shave. So I'm gonna have to shave because I wanna record again. And then last night, I woke up at 10.30 and I was like, no way, I have to check out. So I called the front desk and I'm like, can I extend my check out to 11.30? And he was like, you want to extend? Because he couldn't hear me. My voice was really bad yesterday. So last night he was like, are you saying you want to extend your check out? And I was like, yeah. And he goes, okay. And I, was, I didn't know why he was acting so weird. But the minute I, op I was so stressed out because uh, I was like, oh my God, I'm so tired. I can still sleep. This sucks. And I laid down until, because I had another hour to check out from 10.30 to 11.30. And so I laid in bed and then like, I didn't even put the alarm. I woke up, it was 11.32. I was like, oh no, stressing out. When do you use the bathroom? Thank God I don't have that much stuff. I got my stuff open the door and I was like, why is it dark outside? And I was like, no way. <laughs> so, it's okay though because I was able to go into my car and get some Tylenol because I feel like I've had a fever for the last few days. Thank God I had Tylenol and I wasn't taking it. So yesterday or the day before I took it and I could tell it helped me. So, oh my goodness. Can you imagine? This is the second time in six weeks that I've gotten COVID and gotten my period and bled like a mofo the whole time I have COVID. Because you just want to lay there. You don't want to go and like you're like bleeding so much. It's like bleeding through. And it's just a mess. If you're a girl, you understand. Homeless, COVID, on your period, twice in six weeks. I don't think I have more strength left. I gotta go, you guys. I love you. Stay up. Kirky is very upset because he doesn't like hiking. Hot huh, turkey. No, you're showing up. Oh, that's my butt. It's too big. I need him in the frame. He's so cute. No. Kirky's never going to die. Only good things happen to Kirky, except that was okay. It's all right. It could have been worse, right? Thank you, God. Oh my goodness, he's a cutie. Give me your bromia. I think even Kirky was feeling sick, huh? No, my baby, not. He's wagging his tail. Do it again, boy. I love it when I see dogs walking and wagging their tail while they're walking and lounging out. See the way they connect. Very interesting. You guys look, that's one cam draw connecting. <clears throat> Very big. Look how big that is. What's he doing? Hold on, boy. This is literally my favorite thing in the whole wide world. Morning dew. Beautiful day. Hi. The camera's not doing it justice.
dress is interesting. It's like pleather. This pink one, this is a halter. Comes in um, small. Anyways, um, this gray one. Oh, did I, try? I think I already tried this one. These lace ones. These lace ones. What else caught my eye? Oh, the leather jacket. And the way it comes in brown. It comes in brown. Oh, wait. Oh, the lace ones come in this color. These tank tops are my size. I need them. I want everything.